Good morning. I hope that you are practicing radical self-care. I hope you are waking up and doing daily meditation and prayers and quiet reflection. Um, if you want private coaching, go to www.coachcat.org. In this, um, what I'm going to do in this video is read some mantras to help you heal from narcissistic abuse. These are some daily mantras that you can start incorporating into your day and override that inner critic that's saying that is telling you negative things. Um, so I'm just going to read them. Um, I have closed a chapter on my life that was devoid of love and respect. That door is closed. From this moment on, I allow only love and kindness to guide all of my relationships. My feelings matter. I will no longer allow relationships in my life that are non-reciprocal, abusive, or manipulative. I will trust myself, trust my intuition, and trust my truth. I've learned so much from this painful experience. I am stronger and wiser than I have ever been. I am healing more and more each day. I will spend time in meditation, prayer, and or quiet reflection. I will only engage in self-honoring behaviors. I am free to say what I think and feel without censoring myself for another person. Even though the abuse was very painful, I am growing stronger and stronger each day and I am healing more and more each day. I am in control of my thoughts and I direct them in the direction of love and light. I am developing clear, healthy boundaries that are becoming easier and easier to enforce and set. I forgive myself for staying in a position to be hurt for the possibility of love and approval or security. I forgive myself for putting another above myself, for loving too much, and repeatedly trying to make things work when my needs were clearly not being met and there was no change. I forgive myself for many codependent behaviors that are hurting me. I am learning a new way of operating in the world. It is okay to feel sad. It is okay to grieve the loss of this relationship. I forgive myself for ignoring red flags. I forgive myself for ignoring my body when it told me something was wrong with this person. I will never ignore my intuition like that again. I forgive myself for not trusting myself. I forgive myself for not taking better care of myself. I will never allow another manipulator or narcissist to have that kind of power over me again. I forgive myself for not seeing the truth. I am now free to express my emotions. I release all of the negativity held in my body during the devaluation and discard stage of the relationship. I heal my body through meditation, movement, exercise, walking, yoga, climbing, surfing. I release the trauma from my body. I forgive myself for not protecting myself and allowing myself to be hurt. I forgive myself for reacting negatively to abusive or hurtful behaviors. I forgive myself for trying so hard to constantly make someone happy who could not or would not be pleased because of their own insatiable issues. I forgive myself for not seeing the abuse that I was tolerating. I forgive myself for staying in a position to be hurt for the possibility of security. I release my guilt and shame over the relationship. I reject the idea that another human being is superior to me and that I am in inferior. We are all equals. I forgive myself for, for allowing another to treat me as an inferior or servant. It is okay for me to feel betrayed, angry, abused, and deceived. I am safe now and I can and I will protect myself from toxic people. It is okay for me to grieve that my empathy, kindness, and caring were taken advantage of. I accept that I have learned many things from this process. I have learned how to set healthy boundaries. I have learned how to listen to my intuition. I forgive myself for ignoring my intuition in the past. I will now listen to my inner voice. 
All the love that I gave shows my incredible capacity to love and my huge heart. That is mine and I can share it with somebody who is reciprocal someday in the future. I have learned so much and I have a deep wisdom that I did not have before. I protect and I care for myself. I learned to give all the love that I gave to others, to unhealthy relationships, to my inner child. I have everything I need. My body is healthy, my mind is brilliant, and my soul is tranquil. I release the trauma bond created in this dysfunctional relationship. I walk away from this dysfunctional pattern and relationship. I will allow and process my feelings. I choose to stay in the moment and to practice mindfulness and to be self-aware. I choose to love and help others. I appreciate my kind heart and ability to love, and I will share that with reciprocal relationships. I release the past. I release unhealthy emotional attachments. I commit to healing. I commit to valuing myself. I commit to showing love, loving kindness to myself and others through words and actions. I live in my own truth. I live in integrity. So those are just some mantras that you can um, say, and you can also make your own up that are true for you. And just start saying these mantras every day so that you can start reprogramming your brain from all of the brainwashing and trauma that was created in the context of this um, you know, covertly abusive relationship. I wish you peace, love, and light, and I hope that you are doing radical self-care. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.